As recently as a few years ago, most people probably hadn't heard software or services described as agents, but that doesn't mean that it's a new term, not at all. In fact, the first research into agents goes all the way back to the 1940s. The agent-based model has been an area of research in fields like game theory, programming, biology, and economics, just to name a few. Researchers use agents, and in particular multi-agent systems, to model, measure, and learn about the behavior of autonomous agents and how they interact. To ground the concept a little bit more, the individual ants of an ant call Colony are autonomous agents in a multi-agent system, and so are the players in an MMORPG like World of Warcraft. At Valerie, we were working on autonomous agents all the way back in 2021, and our co-founder, David Menarche, has been in the field since 2019. However, over the past few years in particular, attention on the space and the number of people building what they call AI agents has absolutely exploded. The rise of fast, highly performant large language models like those from OpenAI and its competitors made it possible to equip agents with new abilities to act and create, and suddenly it seemed like AI agents were everywhere. Valerie were early adopters of bringing LLMs into our agenting systems, and we do talk about AI agents on pretty much every episode of the show, but it's still an ambiguous term, one that not even experts in the field have total agreement on.